got a few requests from the viewers of the YouTube channel to do the regions episode again so in this episode we are going to do exactly that we are going to take a little bit closer look at regions how are they created what's their HTML output how you can theme them and how you can add them to your templates so first of all let's do a recap of what regions actually are if we go to structure right here and then we go to block layout regions are places where we can put our blocks in if you can see it right here so we have a few regions on in our theme so one is called main content header footer sidebar main navigation and these are all disabled blocks and if we go to our page dash dash front dot html dot twig we can see that we have page content so in the administration it's called main content it is called main content because we define our regions in that info file so if we click on it we can see that the machine name for the region is content but the human readable name is main content and this is what it's going to be uh, displayed in your administration like it is right here so in this main content right now we have help page title so if we go to our site right here uh, we have a page title of course this is a front page so there won't be any page titles uh, let's see what else we have so we have help that's not showing up currently uh, primary administration actions we have some tabs and we have this main page content this is actually the only thing that is supposed to show on the front page so right here this is the main content and the main content is provided by views so as you can see a uh, page title is not actually showing up right here because as I said this is the front page but if we go to movies and then click on inception as you can see this page already has a title and if you click on inception this title is showing right here so if you click here to configure block you will see that it, this block is called page title so as I said in the previous videos uh, the <coughs> titles uh, of your content are actually displayed in, in this page template so right now we have only a page dash dash front and we have default uh, default Drupal's page dot HTML dot twig so uh, if we go let's say to movies again and open up developer tools and make this a little bit not so big but a little bit bigger we can see that the uh, this content is being outputted from this template so templates layout page dot html dot twig and as you can see there's a little discrepancy between a uh, front page and uh, these other pages that we are on so as you can see this page doesn't have a sidebar I didn't talk about that because we were doing other things but this page doesn't have a sidebar because we didn't define that region uh, on our pages so this is the default page everything that we click on is going to be outputted from that page uh, .html .wig template and it doesn't have a sidebar but there is an easy way to fix that so we can just go to templates layout page.html.twig and as you can see this is the default page for uh, for Drupal what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to delete all of uh, actually delete all of this and just replace it with the same layout as we have on the page dash dash front 
.html .twig and then we should be able to have uh, a sidebar right here so if I save this go to this page refresh it we should see the sidebar right here as you can see this looks a little bit different because it's uh, in another div and so on so if we click on inception we should also get a sidebar right here and so on uh, the reason we did this page dash dash front uh, is because I just wanted to show you that you can have different page templates for di different types of pages of course one of the main reasons you would want to do that is exactly front page so the front page is usually different than the other pages of the site so we made a specific template for that but as we uh, were going through these tutorials uh, it looks like that we that our <laughs> actually uh, actual front page isn't that different uh, from all of the other pages so I can see on this page that we have a footer gone missing so let's make a footer for our page as you can see on the page dash dash front we already have this if page footer so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to add something to that footer so let's say we are going to add let's see not site branding but we are going to take this powered by Drupal from sidebar and put it in our footer and save it okay now as you can see this powered by Drupal is right here so that's not right uh, so what we gonna do now is I'm just going to take this footer out of the main layout container and put it down here okay save it refresh the page and now this should be down here okay of course if you don't want to put any blocks inside your footer you can just remove these two lines so this these two lines are just checking if there's something in the footer in the footer region so are there any blocks in there if there aren't any blocks in there then uh, the footer won't display so if you want to add some custom HTML right right here you can just uh, you can just add you can just delete those two lines and the footer will always be displayed so for now I'm actually going to do that and I'm just going to put this here and then I'm going to save it I already have a uh, gulp started right here so I'm going to go to my SAS file and go to the footer and then I'm going to say something like footer uh, I'm going to call it main footer so it's the main footer of our page and I'm just going to take this class main footer okay and uh, we should do some background on it so I'm just going to do I don't know 464646 save it see how that looks I'm going to turn my live reload on okay so now this is our footer also I'm going to go to my globals as I added this margin bottom on the uh, body tag so I'm just going to delete that refresh it so that we don't have that margin from the bottom and then I'm going to actually go to this page and since the footer is full uh, full width of the page I want it to be uh, a, actually I want the content of the footer to be in line with my site so I'm just going to put this block inside a container so inside a container div okay so that should look a little bit better right now okay and then I'm just going to add I don't know some margins right here so actually padding 
let's say 40 pixels from top and bottom okay and then I'm going to add a margin to it of let's say 60 pixels uh, but just from the top so I forgot to do that okay that looks a little bit better now and I'm going to say that the color of the text inside our main footer should be white so color is white and if we go down here now we have this power by Drupal of course if we go to movies right now we can see that the footer is actually still right here so we have to make a change to our page.html.twig uh, and take it I actually just copy it from our page dash dash front remove this and put that footer down here and now when the page refreshes we have our footer here of course a uh, better way of doing this is through partials that we did in one of the previous episodes so we actually should have put this footer into the uh, footer.html.twig partial and just call it down here so whenever we need to make a change to the footer it will uh, reflect on all of the pages so actually let's do that right now so I'm just going to copy this out create a new file and I'm going to call it uh, let me just see so partials partials footer dot html dot twig and I'm going to save it into this partials directory okay it should be here right now and I'm just going to take this save this page and save the front page and I'm going to paste that code right here save it and then we can just use this include to display our footer so I'm just going to put this right here and say footer okay save it and on the page do the same thing footer and the things should be like they were before but right now if we just go to footer and I don't know do something like h3 this is a footer and go to our <coughs> movies page refresh it you can see that we have this is a footer right here and also if we go to our front page we see the same thing so this is a footer okay so that's the footer region of course you can add more blocks to it if you want all the blocks will be displayed right here next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the HTML output of those regions as with anything else in Drupal to see where the things are coming from we just have to open our development tools and then we we'll go to let's say our footer region click on this right here and then okay we have this page front uh, then we have theme hook region and then we have this output right here so themes and daemon templates layout region dot html dot twig of course you have file suggestions for it if you want a different HTML output for this region right here so for our footer you can call it region dash dash footer dot HTML dot twig so let's go to templates what did it say I forget templates layout region okay templates layout region and <coughs> If you take a look at this file, it just consists of one div with attributes 
which of course we learned in the last lesson if you want to add something right here you could and then we have just displaying of content in that region so let's just see what that block looks like in our code so this is the div and then we have this block right here so powered by Drupal block and that's it so as you can see regions are very simple at least uh, at least these default regions of course you can make this to be as complicated as you need it to be now just to drill this in let's create another region just for the heck of it so I'm just going to create another region called latest movies so we added a machine name so a computer readable name and then we added human readable name latest movies this name is going to be displayed in our administration save this and we're going to display latest movies in this region so I'm just going to go to my block layout and if I refresh it let's see if we have it here we still don't have it of course we have to refresh the cache so configuration performance and clear all caches okay now if we go to structure and then we go to block layout we can see latest movies region right here so what we want to do now we want to create a new block which is going to be a view block uh, that we're going to put into that region so to create this block we will going to go to structure views and now you can of course create a new view but we don't want to do that because we already have this list of movies so we don't need to make a new list of them because we already have a mo uh, we already have a view movies right here which lists our movies so I'm just going to edit this view so this is one of the features we didn't uh, actually I didn't show you that you can do in views so as you can see this display is for page so page and now I can add a display and make it for a block so I'm just going to click block right here okay and as you can see this display is having the same uh, configuration as this page right here so I'm just going to save it right now so just to save this block uh, you can rename this block to be latest movies movies and now we can just save this okay and then uh, we would go to our structure block layout and then down here you should have latest movies right here and you can put it in the latest movies region uh, if for some reason you don't have this right here you can just click on place block and place block so as you can see you would have latest movies right here okay so place block save it and now we have latest movies block in our latest movies region we save it and then if we will look at our page we don't see nothing why well because we didn't actually define that region in our template so I'm going to go to my page dash dash front dot HTML dot twig open up double curly braces and just do page dot latest movies and that's it so we save it when the page refreshes you should get the list of the latest movies right here of course this doesn't look uh, right so we are going to just tune this a little bit 
so this is coming from our views so I'm going to go to structure views and then movies edit it and of course remember we have to click on a block right here so this these are the page settings these are going to be block settings and now what we have to do we have to use this pager of course so I'm just going to click on it and this is one more thing we didn't discuss uh, when we were talking about views <clears throat> so as you can see whenever you click apply there is this all displays so if I change something right here it is going to be changed on the page uh, display and on the block display but to override some of the settings so on the page we are going to have a full pager and we are going to have uh, 10 items displayed but let's say on a block we wanna have 5 items displayed and don't have a pager at all so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say this for not all displays but just this block so this block and I'm going to just say display a specified number of items apply this display and the number of items to display is going to be 5 and then click apply if we check out the preview we don't have a page right here so I'm just going to save this and as you can see if you go to we have uh, on the block display a specified number of items 5 but if we go to page here we have use pager full and page and 10 items so if I go right here refresh this page as you can see we have 5 latest movies displayed right here of course you could have go on to structure and then go to block layout and add this block to the sidebar and then just configure it so that it wouldn't be displayed on some pages but because we were talking more about regions uh, I wanted to show you how you can make this region and of course this region is going to be shown just on the front page but on the movies page where we already have a list of movies we don't have that region here because we don't need it we, we are displaying movies right here we don't want to display them here also it wouldn't make any sense so let's just do a quick recap so regions are just parts of your template where you put stuff in so that stuff is mostly blocks so you can get blocks from views and you can get blocks from some other modules so you can install a module and that module will give you a block that you can put on your page also uh, you can uh, manipulate the output of your regions by just going to templates layout region.html and or using Drupal's file name suggestions if you wanted to style or make a different output for a specific specific region okay so I hope this video was a little bit more informational than the one we did before about regions also you will learn something new about views and blocks and how to create blocks with views uh, and so on this is it for this video if you liked it please like it uh, or subscribe to my channel if you want you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook also remember that all the code that we did in this video or any other video is available on github link will be in the description below thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one